In this video, I'll show you how to test MOSFETs with a multimeter. MOSFETs are specialized transistors that have a very high input resistance and must be tested in a very specific way. Fortunately, you can just use a standard multimeter to do so using the diode check function. So let's get started. This is a P-channel MOSFET. The leads are called the drain, source, and the gate. The current flows from the source to the drain on a P-channel MOSFET, and contrary to what is intuitive, in order to cause the P-channel MOSFET to conduct, one must provide a negative bias to the gate with respect to the drain. So this one here is a P-channel. This is an N-channel. We'll check that one afterwards. On a P-channel MOSFET, you will put the red lead on the source, which is this one on the right, and then you'll put the black lead on the drain, which is the center one. You notice I have no reading there. However, if I provide the negative bias to this P-channel MOSFETs gate by tapping the gate with the black lead, and putting a relatively negative bias on this, and that negative bias is stored on this capacitively coupled gate, and when I go back and I touch the drain, we now have conductivity. So we have conductivity from the source to the drain of this, of this MOSFET. That tells us this is a good MOSFET. Now this particular one has a flyback diode from drain to source. So if you were to check from drain to source, you should expect some conductivity, which you do, and that's a, that's a conductivity of the forward bias of that diode right there. Now in the, if the MOSFET was bad, you would probably end up getting something like this here. From the gate to the drain, you probably get something like this, a dead short. That's, that's one of the ways that they fail, is they catastrophically fail in that manner, and you'll just get a dead short. But in order to test the top proper functionality of the MOSFET, you know, one must follow that procedure we just outlined. So that was a P-channel MOSFET. Let's do an N-channel MOSFET. It's going to be basically the same, except the in-channel MOSFET works a little differently. For the in-channel MOSFET, the current flows from drain to the source. And again, contrary to the name of the MOSFET, an in-channel MOSFET requires a positive bias on the gate with respect to the source. So in order to test this, what we'll do is we'll put the black lead on the source and put the red lead on the drain. And you notice we have no conductivity from the drain to the source. However, when I apply a positive channel to the gate of the in-channel MOSFET, like that, the capacitively coupled gate stores that charge. When I go to touch the drain, I now have conductivity through this, through this MOSFET. And we have just tested that we have proper functionality of this MOSFET. And again, this one has a flyback diode, as do many because of the applications they are often used in, in which case from source to drain, I should have the reading of what you would get of a diode. Let's go ahead and test that from source to drain. We have the reading of what would be a forward bias diode. And if we reverse that, we don't have anything. So that is testing the proper functionality of an in-channel MOSFET right there. This test procedure is outlined at techcircuit.org. You can go to the search feature and just enter semiconductor and look for the semiconductor testing cheat sheet. And it also shows you how to test all kinds of other semiconductors using a multimeter. By the way, this is a perfect multimeter for conducting such tests. There is a link to this meter in the description of this video. Hope you found this video interesting and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.